Acacia Prison is back in lockdown tonight, 24 hours after guards were forced to shelter from a wild riot. 100 inmates turned violent, setting fires as they scaled the roof in almost six hours of mayhem. Inmates in control. Dancing on the roof of Acacia Prison as their cells burn below. Staff at the mercy of shields while furniture is hurled. A hundred prisoners taking power for almost six hours, setting fire to mattresses and throwing rocks through windows. The chaos coming close to a perimeter fence. Prison officers trapped, forced to lock themselves away. The prisoners set fires around the control room and if it wasn't for the quick thinking of the uh, senior officer there and a, a couple of officers, um, uh, there, there could have been lives lost. This was the medium security prison last night. Three prison officers were injured, one inmate taken to hospital. A recovery team had to be sent in uh, to extract them and effectively save their lives. The chaos, according to the Prison Officers Union, triggered by chronic understaffing and a COVID outbreak. The staff here at uh, Acacia every single day are running on a skeleton staff. In that particular unit, you're looking at effectively about six or seven officers and over 200 prisoners. Those concerns today denied. Yes, it's fully staffed. There's nothing that I've been advised that would give me any concern about the staffing levels there. Nine News has been told the discontent runs deeper. Inmates denied masks and visits, restricted movement, adding fuel to an already tense situation. I don't apologise for those restrictions. Um, we need to ensure the safety of our staff and the safety of the prisoners. And Mia Edgerton Warburton is at Acacia Prison. Mia, the investigation is far from over. Michael, this riot will now be subject to a police and internal investigation. At this stage, no criminal charges have been laid, but the arson squad was here this afternoon assessing the damage to those two blocks. As for those three staff members who were injured, we know two suffered smoke inhalation and a third had an injury to his knee. But tonight, Michael, they're all out of hospital. Mia, thank you for the update.